welcome to profit data today exactly i'm going to talk about uh, you know creating this simple gui dashboard okay so exactly this is like uh, uh, you know i'm just creating a simple dashboard as you can use uh, three things in python exactly you know there are uh, so many modules are there okay exactly if, uh, if i go with like you know web trading app exactly the so there are mainly three things simple this one is like uh, you can go with this python cgi programming the next you can go with the flask and the next you can go with the you know django so exactly what i am trying to do here, here is like you know some like you know for uh, say simple for simple this gi dashboard and you can uh, you can do a lot of stuff okay so exa exactly i am using this uh, html uh, to create my dashboard and exactly uh, you know i just create them and then exactly uh, i will try to tell them you know whatever orders my you know you should be fulfilled uh, to this python okay so for that what you can do is like uh, you should have this knowledge about this python cj programming okay so you can go this one i'll go trading from free publisher api key via python cj program programming two videos are there exactly you should watch how to set up this exactly for this uh, python cj programming and then exactly uh, you know you should uh, you know watch this bracket sl and cover order limit so exactly i'm going to talk about this bracket sl order okay so first of all i'm gonna uh, you know talk about this uh, uh, python programming okay so exactly first of all i just uh, go with the starting you know how should i call so exactly i'm just uh, you know getting about placing this order okay so i should call that function so i should place that order and should i should get that uh, you know thing so what i can do is like i should uh, you know those things has been added my, i've been uh, stored my api key api secret and uh, this is uh, you know i should visit first uh, this uh, what's a ww which is which contains like you know uh, windows c vamp 64 ww so if you are getting in this one exactly you can uh, you know uh, can straight away code for your uh, like you know web trading app exactly you can go for it and can uh, have it this one so i've been uh, storing my all files in this uh, section itself and so i've been doing this one okay so i just straight away move to this uh, kite connect itself first i will show you how you can uh, you know leave a blank for your you know having this and if you are calling something for uh, you know ltp and then exactly uh, you know trying from ltp you are trying to discover what i can uh, place it for the target and uh, what i can do for like you know uh, i can do that stuff okay so what i'm gonna do is like uh, i will call this uh, you know kite connect module for this one so i will say from kite connect import kite connect okay so next what i'm gonna do is like uh, i just go straight away so whatever what are the things required as as we already discussed in this previous video of mine this kite connect module is there so exactly uh, you know as you can see uh, the login process is the same i'm just gonna call them okay i will say you know i just uh, read them it contains in a text So I'm gonna straight away. I'm gonna read this. If you uh, really go with my, you know, previous video of mine, where exactly I've been, uh, you know, shown how to generate, uh, you know, session for that for this, uh, you know, getting this access token and doing all the stuffs. And I will say kite as equals kite connect. And I will say API equals API key. Okay. And uh, I will set the access token in this one. So I already set my access token by generating session this one for this. So I'm just open. Straight away I'm gonna read. okay so my login flow is done right now okay so let me quickly close this one so 
oh my login login flow is done right now i should uh, you know try to first of all uh, what are the things i required as i mentioned in this i exactly for placing bracket order i need variety okay so i do i should talk about this uh, you know variety also but uh, the thing is if i am placing all these things okay first of all you need uh, like you know you, you need some import like you know if i am doing this uh, you know cgi programming as i will leave blank okay so i need this so i will say cgi tv or something so if i like uh, uh, you know populate this uh, form say i just uh, you know in given input so you should uh, you know go for this thing so whatever form is there okay so it will be like uh, field storage cgi form equals cgi dot field storage and storage okay so field storage is done so exactly i am just storing all those stuffs so exactly i am leaving blank for it so for input i am leaving earlier as a blank so i can uh, from a form or like in an html i can directly save it from uh, these things okay so here uh, uh, this one is done so now exactly i can straight away call so for placing bracket order what i exactly i need i need a variety uh, it should be like you know uh, regular uh, i said uh, bo bracket order so i will say form dot uh, get value and i will give this variety so from you know uh, where i create a form so i should uh, you know prepare to accept all those things so I, so for these things i am creating this one okay variety is okay then exactly i think i need a uh, you know validity also i think i should uh, you know go for the validity or otherwise i can say it, save it in last time not a problem so next if after the variety what i can go for like you know exchange i need I will say about whatever the exchange is there. I will say about exchange, and I am trying to get this in. So I will say about exchange whether like a NFO, MCX or NSC. Okay. Uh, the MCX won't be there for bracket order. Okay. So as I can say for these things, and exchange is done, then I will say about my trading symbol. What exactly trading symbol I am doing? Okay, so I will say about my trading symbol. Okay, so here uh, trading symbol is done. Uh, variety exchange and trading symbol is done. The next what I, what I exactly I am uh, uh, you know trying to uh, do here is like uh, uh, you know transaction. Type I need transaction type whether I am doing buy or sell. So that also I should get about that one. Okay, and uh, uh, transaction type. So I will say about the same thing about like you know in this string format. So I will say about this transaction type and uh, i will say about this quantity okay so i will say here about quantity okay so quantity is done uh, now i should talk about this uh, variety exchange trading symbol transaction type quantity now i should talk about this order type order type okay whether i am placing in uh, market order or price limit so i should go for it okay uh, sorry order type should print in an order type itself okay so here order type then exactly at the end i should give a no after this i should end it that is uh, you should be like uh, you know product i should talk about the product okay so i think uh, here i am done with the product okay so next i should talk about validity also because it plays a very important role 
uh, for placing this bracket order so i should talk about this uh, you know validity also okay so validity so my variable and strings uh, i'll just name the same okay uh, no actually change in that one okay uh, so i think uh, here i am done okay so next what i'm gonna do is like uh, 